Yeah, that was definitely delayed. <laughs> oh, we did it. One. <laughs> no, I two, said I. I was saying one, two, three as I was hearing Liam's. Okay. One, two, three. You might be receiving us delayed. Maybe. I did say it. You might be able to fix that by quitting. I did say it right after back. I heard you say it. You're definitely like acting right. like we're cutting you off when we're not. Yeah. So I think you're right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I think that's what's happening. Don is so actually just gaslighting I you. Just <laughs> <a bunch>. mm-hmm. <laughs> you're you acting really like not. I'm cutting you off, and I'm really not. <laughs> I'm not the one cutting you off. You're the one cutting you off. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it does seem like there is actually a several second delay to yeah. the main satellite internet. Uh, sorry, that just doxed you. That was, that was real bad. <laughs> Are you currently recording? Yes. But, well, but, but I did state. say earlier, I kind of like the idea of, I kind of like the idea of watching this through actual space. Mm-hmm. There's something cool about that. Mm-hmm. So. Right. so I've been realizing I've been singing the "I Got You, Babe" at the wrong time. It really should be in the place of the the breath when when you wake up, not yeah. The, mm-hmm. <laughs> How fucking dare you? And that, that's why the joke isn't landing, of course. Yeah, that's it. Even <laughs> yes, though we've been that's it definite, every time. That's definitely why, and not because my uh, remembrance of media is horse shit. Uh, so what are we interested in tonight? I Blackjack. we should we should do the the moon. You know everything you need for the quantum moon. Yes. Okay. Cool. Cool. We also haven't checked out the interloper yet. I'm gonna we be also... honest, like the main. Yeah, yeah we Could also haven't checked yes. checked out the interloper. Uh, well, let's. Um... Reason I was, I, I admit, the reason why I was kind of obnoxiously pushing you a little too hard on the a rule of quantum entanglement last time was that I was impatient to see the quantum moon. <laughs> <laughs> So the, was kind of stupid and annoying to me, but like no, it's fine. Um, it's just the quantum moon it's is only now uh, by just refusing to do it. But yeah, I don't look for it this way. Look for it with the radar. Yeah, bit late now, but <laughs> uh, it did become apparent, especially rewatching the vods, that you were very much so not letting us organically f- letting, uh, figure out organic mechanics of mm-hmm. uh, the quantum mechanics. Nope. Oh. Who's got time to learn quantum mechanics on a Monday night? Okay, that's close enough, right? Like that's a picture. It's a picture. Like, unless unless the scout suddenly dies, which it very well could. I don't think you lose the current picture when that happens. I hope no, not. We take another picture now, and that would definitely work. You could also slam into it at full speed. I don't think you need the scout to take a picture. Uh, there, I don't know another way to take a picture on I a mean, ship. It says RB for a forward snapshot. Oh, well. I'm just looking at the screen that is currently now. But that's because the scout is out. <laughs> um, this is not what... I expected? What the fuck? <laughs> what is... Where? Um, um, Claptrap? Oh? Uh, where is this on the planet? Is this the South Pole? <laughs> oh yeah, it's You always thing. land on the South Pole of the Quantum Moon. Oh you shit! But didn't I not last time? I think you smashed into it hard as hell, and okay, then fair enough. <laughs> Is it Solanum? Land on the South Pole last time. Uh. But then, after smashing into it, you kind of explored around, flying. For yes. A bit. Uh... Okay. It's a shuttle. Yep, to fill... Uh... 
Just fill your curiosity I, where you can pop in here. I did see the VOD of you in the shuttle. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking that if we had been smarter about it, you probably could have gotten to the quantum moon using the shuttle. I don't know. Probably. Interesting. There's a black hole core there. Oh, you don't want to recall the shuttle right now. No. Um, blah, 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 blah. Blah. That is all. There. Um, the shrine has vanished because I didn't take a picture of it like a moron. Um. Wait, Someone you're is typing. typing. <laughs> yep. Yep, I wonder who that could be. Definitely not. The body move. The body kind of is now standing, yeah. Or sitting up. You probably don't want the scout if you want to take a picture of a corpse. True. Yeah, but I was at, I was wondering if I uh, if I looked away from the corpse, would it change position again? I see. Uh, That's definitely one of the. Yeah. It's a quantum corpse. My favorite type of corpse. Mm-hmm. Top three corpses go. <laughs> Not if you have a picture taken of it. Well, I don't know if there's any reason we want it locked. Also, you just lost the tower again. Yeah. Oh, no. Nope, you, yeah. you mean kinds of corpses or corpses of people? Like. Open to interpretation. <laughs> okay. This I'm, like, is, consciously this... going out of my way not to say anything here because I've been so bad about spoiling things in the past. <laughs> yeah. so you're fine, you're fine. Um, let me just double check what we determined. Now you've definitely lost the tower again. <laughs> Did I? Alright, number one kind of corpse <laughs> would be a mummy in a sarcophagus in Egypt. I think that would be a cool uh, corpse. Yeah, I guess I did. Pretty cool, yeah. Very number preserved. Two. Number two, a cadaver. It's good for science. Whoa! You have any particular kind, or just, just you know? It's just, just a kid. like fine. any anything helping science, you know. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. And then, um. No, sorry, uh, marshmallows. What were you gonna say about a cadaver? <laughs> uh, I guess they could ever like. I guess like it could fall into the category of like any dead body, but like I, I suppose a worse strictly using that definition as for science. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Purposeful dead body. Yeah. yeah, a purposeful dead body. Okay, so how do we quantumly entangle so, ourselves with the tower? I think you're already in the tower, so you're entangled. Uh -huh. I think you want it, that light off. And then look, look down? Well, do you remember the mechanic? <laughs> you probably want to close the door. Complete darkness. And then you okay. want to see with the light on. Or you could probably use the flashlight. Oh, the headlamp. Faster. Your headlamp will help as well. Okay, yeah. so just keep Look at the turning symbol. it on. Okay. Just keep okay. using the headlamp off and on until you're in the sixth location. Nope. Uh, that's Dark Bramble. Hang on. What's the, what's the rule of the sixth location? that it can only happen when the t shrine is on the north pole of of the quantum moon hmm? is this not the shrine i thought this was the shrine i think you're okay and we're just trying to move it until it's on the north pole right but but when we do when we do this there we go just turn well the well well and you're gonna want a picture of it, probably, to keep it here. Yeah. Hey, um, what's this floor? Nothing. I don't what like the way you say you? that. <laughs> oh boy. I was assuming an uh, uh, that it, the moon being the, is on the sixth location. If the moon is only in the sixth location when the tower is in the North Pole, I was going to assume the opposite that the North Pole. The mm. tower is in the North Pole when the moon's in the sixth location. Fair, fair. 
Okay. We need to figure out what the contrapositive yes, the, is. The tower is currently not. The tower, so the tower is currently not on the North Pole. As a result, when you try to get out, you are blocked off. So now we need to move the tower to the North Pole. That is the second. <laughs> yes. And so, so yeah, what Sean said is not actually accurate. Okay. We need, we need to somehow move the shrine to the North Pole. And we should not give any hints as to how to so move. You have to the find a way to. Yes. yes. Stop, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> I am trying to. Stop yes, to yes, it's okay. It, it can be frustrating. I know. I have been there. I have definitely been the backseat gamer. We didn't move it though. We did not move it. Okay, that provides any amount of light, so... I am noticing that doing this doesn't seem to move us on the map on the left at all. That's right. Interesting. So we may need to manipulate the tower from the outside in order to get it to the North Pole. That is my... That is my running theory. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought we had moved to Brittle Hollow. It looks... It looks like we've moved to... No. It looks like we moved to Timber Hearth. That is not the Brittle Hollow symbol. <laughs> that is not the Brittle Hollow symbol. That is Timber Hearth. Um, my best guess for this is just to go to the North Pole. While uh, not leaving the Quantum Moon atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so I might need to move elsewhere. Giant Steep. Wait a minute. I'm curious now. Is there a gerbil racing track going on? <laughs> Okay, we're back in Storm Hell Zone. Um, which I hope means that we can just walk to the North Pole, almost, but not quite. We are block. We are blocked off from the North Pole. Mm -hmm. And get uh, closer. I thought there was a big storm around the North Pole the last time we looked at it. Maybe that's because we were in orbit over Giant's Deep. Hmm. You think the planet that we're I think the planet does... that the moon is around and uh, changes the terrain of the quantum moon. So that's Brittle Hollow and Timber Hearth. When we are on Giant's Deep... Oh, look! We're in water. And... Oh, yeah, this is the moon we saw before. Yep, and it is uh, Hellstorm. Oh, that's fucking weird. Yeah! That's um, a great night. That's a kind of time to figure out, because we always kept landing on this thing when we were on the same planet. <laughs> and then we, like, the sixth time we mm -hmm. got here, we were on a different planet. We're like, wait, why does it look different? Yeah. Oh, I'm not entirely sure I want to see what it looks like in Dark Bramble Mode. Dark Bramble Mode is super happy fun time, because Dark Bramble is super happy fun time. I'm just imagining... So, I, I want to see this. I want to see an anglerfish just swoop <laughs> down onto the yeah. <laughs> Also, I like the implication <laughs> that you keep making, Sean, that the anglerfish is, like, the only thing that can be scary in this game anymore. 
Well, I... The anglerfish is where I, I would expect it to be under the water. Yes. <laughs> in Giant's Deep. Okay, now we are on... Facsimile of the Ash Twin. Are we just not allowed to go to... Oh, and the corpse is always here on the South Pole. Mm-hmm. They I sure are. Instead of... What if instead of trying to get it straight to the North Pole, what if you just tried to get it closer? I... So... Let us play with the mechanics. <laughs> so if we... <laughs> That's true. Sure. Sure. Um, like, well, what's yep, that? Yep, Where's I that just... land bridge take you? Yeah. You just moved it. Yep. 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 back to the South Pole because I left the atmosphere. Interesting. Yee Okay. The moon is weird. This moon is fucking weird, man. <laughs> Are we going to Dark Bramble? You know, because of your hesitance to do Bark Bramble, there is a 100% chance that Dark Bramble is the answer. You're probably right. <laughs> Bark Bramble. Wow, it, it actually keeps putting us in <laughs> the eye. Let's go Angler Fish. That would be a great sports team name, the Anglerfish. Yeah. If I put it... Kind of oh. weird gender politics, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's closer. It is closer. Into the Bramble. Yeah, don't it like that. It looks like that's the way into the North Pole, though. Do it. Is it? It's also probably a trap. Do it. <laughs> There's no There's real way. Oh, yeah, okay. That looked like a cave, not a wall. Yeah, okay. that's not an entrance. <sighs> well, I mean, yeah, let's let's see where the warping takes us. Imaging off. We know it's definitely not the um Giants deep to get to the end because of that whirlpool. Yep. But we should explore the other ones. Try. I'm actually honestly curious. I can... can you try Timber Hearth again? I don't know if this is the solution or not. I don't think it is, but. Okay. What I'm thinking. Yeah, the eye is still blocked off here. What yeah. I'm thinking is that there's. It's like the puzzle where uh, the tower can appear. From the South Pole, there's probably like one or two spots where the tower can appear on each mm. world, and you're just trying to piecemeal God. go from the three okay. spaces. That makes sense, yes. Okay, let's not dive into that geyser. Looks like Timber Hearth has an opening at the North Pole. So if I just like if I turn around a couple of times. Hey, that looks like a shrine at the North Pole of the fucking Quantum Moon. Very cool. Whew, what Very a mind bender. Cool. Okay, everybody ready for whatever the fuck's gonna happen? Because I'm not. I'm here for it. Oh boy. 
This game is incredibly good at alien landscapes and shit. This just seems to provide a path, perhaps, back to my ship? That'd be ideal. Um? That, um? Robin. Um? Um? Noise suppression. Um? Face buckle. Get in there. Get in there. <gasps> yeah. Uh, Get the he bubble. looks a little less dead. Get in there. Go uh. talk to him. Go talk to him. But if you turn around, he's in a different pose. Quantum getting That's on top of shifting. She's the she's Didn't the one who just... took the shuttle. Who is this? The eye, the nomai. So you? Oh, oh like her. Oh! Oh, this is how we're going to... Who are you? Okay. Yeah. I am Solodum. A Nomai. My clan arrived in this star system before my birth and we now call it home. Explain yourself. <laughs> Explain you. <laughs> I am on my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. All know my my clan make this journey with me. Your first, huh? Yeah, I'm getting some intent that. Uh... Okay. So when we leave here, we will not suddenly see the eye of the universe. Especially since we don't have our ship. Hmm. I'm getting the impression that perhaps with the time loop there's something weird going on where the ancient time might be 23 minutes ago. Maybe. <laughs> hey. I already did that. What is... 23 minutes ago. <laughs> Let's is... tie it all back. What is the eye? Only the quantum moon's reflection of it. The eye is older than you, and my claim believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around this star's system. Explain eye. There is fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally, this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, that uncertainty grows enormously. The quantum moon probably exhibits macroscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that broke off from the quantum moon have a similar effect, as I imagine you've seen elsewhere in the star system. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility, but what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself. Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. Explain Quantum Moon. The shards look the same as the Quantum Moon surface now while at the eye. From this, we can reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural state is as we see it now, and the eye is its primary location. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it's likely that any characteristics the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum, thus the eye's... No! No, don't end the time loop! Mm. Better hurry. Better hurry. Get through everything. Yeah. Identify me. Identify me. me. <laughs> he doesn't know your language. Mm-hmm. This is my favorite one. 
learn about <laughs> like your four and to find eyeballs. The came from another star system as my clan originally did. Was there anything else? Oh, wait, there's another one. Put in... Oh, I don't want to spoil it. Sorry, I'll stop talking. <laughs> oh. What if you do the two questions or the two or two uh, names I'm, together? I'm, I'm guessing they won't. But me and you, yeah. <laughs> oh. To seek out and to understand is our way of living. Me and you, Stone, is just you trying to hit on the Nomai. Yep, yep. <laughs> Come on, please, please, please. <laughs> Oh, fuck you. <laughs> um, that was different.